Hey everybody, this is Lauren Good for The Verge and we're going hands-on with the new Nexus 6P smartphone. This is Google's newest uh, flagship Nexus phone. And as you can see, it looks pretty different from last year's Nexus 6. Last year's Nexus 6 was made in partnership with Motorola, had a very different build, uh, had a six inch display. This one is made in partnership with Chinese phone maker Huawei. Uh, it is no longer plastic, and if you look at the back, you can actually see the back is very different. Last year's phone sort of had a like bubble back, or as I like to say, swollen battery back, and was made of plastic. This one is much more sleek. It's all metal, anodized aluminum. Uh, really nice build, feels a lot like a premium phone. It's also 7.3 millimeters thin, which means it's thinner than last year's model, and weighs about 10 grams less. It has a WQHD AMOLED display. It's a really nice, bright display, and it's actually 5.7 inches compared with the six inch display from last year. It's got USB Type-C charging, which was pretty much expected. It also has a fingerprint sensor on the back, so you can unlock the phone with your fingerprint, but also other apps, third-party apps, will be able to use this as well. Another difference between this phone and last year's Nexus 6 is this one has a 3450 milliamp battery. I think that combined with the new Doze feature and Marshmallow Android are likely to give you some pretty long battery life. So even though this thing supports super fast charging, you may not have to use it all that much because you'll get longer battery life with it. We're not going to be able to tell you exactly how good it is until we're able to try it for an extended period of time, but still worth noting. I think the most significant update to this phone is its cameras. It has an 8 megapixel front facing camera. It has a 12.3 megapixel rear camera. Uh, it's got a new Sony sensor and Google says that this sensor is supposed to let in 90% more light than the sensor in last year's phone. Basically it's supposed to be pretty great for low light settings. Um, now it does sort of physically take up a lot of space up here and you can see it kind of protrudes from the back which some people might find a little bit unsightly but hey at the end of the day if it takes really great photos maybe you won't actually care as much. So that's a quick hands-on with the new Nexus 6P smartphone. It goes on sale for pre-order today. Starts at $499 for a 32 gigabyte phone, goes up to $649 for a 128 gigabyte model. Uh, that means it starts at less than the price of last year's $649 Nexus 6, and you've got quite a nice phone here. So stay tuned for more.